Hi there, I'm Vito, I'm the founder here at WP Feedback and I wanted to congratulate you. You made one of the best choices for your agency by becoming a WP Feedback Pro user. It's your first step in reducing your project delivery time from weeks to days. This is our main goal, to get you the same results thousands of other agencies and freelancers are seeing right now using our platform. Now, I remember when I first started building websites years ago, to create a page, I would start from scratch, build it up, HTML and CSS would take me about 10 hours to create a long, uh, interesting homepage. Nowadays, I just drop in my favorite page builder and that 10 hours became one hour. This is the kind of quantum leap we're creating here with WP Feedback. As web designers, we keep optimizing the experience of the website itself, make it faster, make it more secure, and how we build websites, do it faster in that way, while the process of delivering the project in its entirety is still outdated and archaic. Now it's time to move forward. I'm going to go through our platform and a few use cases to show you how you can begin to deliver projects in days instead of weeks and months. So let's dive in. This is your poor dashboard. The website you have installed our plugin on will show here automatically. Uh, your goal when using our platform is very simple. Just get it to green. So you can see this one is done and this one is done. And I have another project here that is done, but this one still has six pending tasks. This one has 18 and this one has 93 tasks. Let's dive in and see what we need to do here. Now looking at this screen, I want us to compare this to an email inbox. Uh, like your Gmail account or your uh, Outlook account because this is what most uh, web designers are still doing to communicate with client even though an email is a 30 year old tool that was never created for this use case. So let's see the difference compared to that. This is your inbox and the first thing that we can see here on the left is already that every message that comes into this desk is auto filtered based on the project which gives you a tremendous amount of focus when you need to work on a particular task or complete a particular revision round, for example. You know what I mean when you're looking at your inbox and then there's this one message from this client and three messages from another one and you start working on it and then uh, you get a text message or a WhatsApp message, message about uh, another request from a different client that throws you completely out of focus and steers you in the wrong direction. So just by filtering tasks based on projects where you can focus on things, gives you a lot more clarity and saves you already a bunch of time. Now looking at this column, we can see that we can jump between tasks as easy as clicking that. So it's like more of a tab system than uh, an email thread like you're used to from, uh, from an inbox. Every time you go inside and go back out of an email thread, uh, you land back on your inbox, a bit disoriented, trying to figure out where, where, where was this email? Is that in the inbox? Is that on the unread, on the red things? Now imagine you're doing 100 emails a day these things really add up. So here, this is designed for rapid revision rounds. I can just jump between the different tasks, see what's going on, and uh, start working from what I feel comfortable doing right now. Now, this one is a great example of a message. Look at this, we don't do visa. That's all that we got from the client, four words uh, to describe the situation. Looking at this, and you've probably seen these emails before, four words or a text message, and then it throws you into a loop trying to figure out where to look and where the problem is. So what I would do if I see we don't do Visa, uh, I would go to the checkout page, check out what's going on over there, maybe even the order confirmation, but also I would check the gateways, and that would just spin, spin me around the website trying to figure out how to read this message, or even worse, go back to the client and ask them to clarify, which then it's gonna take one more day until they clarify that message. This entire process that should have taken a few seconds is now taking more than a full day to complete. And again, this is just one request out of, I imagine, loads of others that uh, you're doing on a regular basis. So here, what we actually see, instead of uh, trying to figure out where the problem is, we have an automated screenshot that was taken, and we can see that the visa here is marked uh, with a small border. Uh, so I know that all they wanted to do is actually for me to remove this icon from the footer, and I'm done. So I'm just gonna click on view comments and now we can see that uh, we have the original message and then we have the reply, no problem, I'm on it, but I can also delegate this directly to my team. Again, comparing this to how people are doing this right now, you would get the message uh, via email or again on WhatsApp or something like that. You take a screenshot or you copy that uh, message and then you drop it into Slack or into Skype or however you're communicating internally with your team or how you're communicating with your subcontractors. And then from there, they would try to figure out from that screenshot of that bit of message, what's going on, going to that website, maybe jumping into that email as well. So here it's very simple. You just write it here, uh, write the message, 
add it as a note so that it's not visible to the client. And here when you scroll down, we have uh, uh, all of our team members here. So I can just mark one of them and it will go directly to them. Now on the right side, we have our filters where we can filter those different tasks uh, also based on the different tags. For example, this is a design one or we can do uh, another one based on uh, specific users and so on. But also we have our attributes. So here we have the screen size. Again, everything was automatically created uh, for you. Uh, we have the browser version. We can set the status of the task and the priority directly from here as well. But the magic really starts when I click on this button and it's going to take me directly to that website, log me in automatically. So now I'm already logged in as the relevant user and it's gonna find that task, scroll down to it and pop it open for me. So all I need to do now is click on edit page and work on this. So now that I'm done with this one, I can mark this as complete and the client will be notified automatically. I don't even need to do anything else. Just continue on to the next task here. We are now giving 30 days uh, instead of 14, I can see here. So we can just go on and change this one and mark that as complete as well. Let's go back to the dashboard and see how it looks over there. So here we can see that the task will mark as, as done, but this is a good opportunity to take you into the bolt section and show you the snapshot of that entire project. So as I'm gonna click on that, it's going to find again this task and pop it open for me. There it is, and we can see that it's marked as complete in here as well. But the cool thing is that every task that was created on this website is neatly organized, describing the status of each task in a very visual way. So when we're looking at this, we get a snapshot of this project. We already have 70 tasks done. We have 72 tasks remaining, pretty much halfway through this project. Currently, there's 12 tasks pending, but there's nine tasks that are pending review or people are working on, but uh, nine tasks that are pending review right now. So I wanna give you an example from a real uh, website that we're working on right now. And this is uh, like a care plan client. And here we can see that uh, right now we have 18 pending tasks on this website. There's nine in progress and uh, we have 125 complete. So let me explain you how this happens uh, every morning. The person that, that distributes the tasks uh, lands on this page. You can see all of the tasks that are happening here and just drops whatever is needed uh, into the in progress. What we like to do is just get it to 10 in here so it's easy to digest. And then the developer comes into here, goes into each one of these tasks and just get them complete. Just get it to green, remember? If he has any doubt or he's not sure about what needs to be done, he's just gonna drag this to pending review and this task is gonna wait there until our review together uh, once a week. So now I showed you the real power of WP Feedback Pro and how by eliminating loads of back and forth, making sure that everything is communicated seamlessly across the different channels of the project, we're able to reduce so much time. Now I wanna take you through a few use cases so you can use our platform for the entire process of the project. So I created this screen to map out every component of a standard website project that is currently happening in the space. You might have some of these, you might have all of them, but all together, this is everything that we see uh, when we're looking at thousands of thousands of uh, WordPress projects and how they are run. Now we're building towards a full solution, but right now I'm gonna start you from this stage here, the wireframes. After we've already done the discovery and we have some kind of an architecture or an understanding of the sitemap of the website, uh, now we need to start mapping it out, but we wanna do it fast. So the best way to achieve rapid prototyping is to start building straight away inside the browser. And this means that you can use WP Feedback Pro to make the process as quick and painless as possible. So instead of using Photoshop to create the mockups or the wireframes from scratch every time, or even using third party tools that then you need to export the, the image and send it via email uh, in a very inefficient way, we're suggesting using a template with a page builder like Elementor, or Beaver Builder, Divi, or anyone else as the way of creating that initial layout of the website. And just so that happens that we've created those templates already for you to use. Let me show you how this looks. So if we're gonna scroll down, you can see that we have three types of headers, four types of uh, hero sections in here. Uh, then we have a few sections with the icons and so on and so on. Every type of uh, layout that you would find on a standard website, uh, we have listed on one template. 
And now the process is super simple. It's either that you load out this template to a page and then simply delete the ones that you don't want, or with Elementor it's even easier. I can just copy what I want into the relevant pages and build out that entire website. So for example, let us build a homepage together. So I wanna take this header, I'm gonna copy this and go to another Elementor page and just uh, click on. So I pause the video for a second to complete this uh, page and create a nice uh, long page that has all of the different elements and I added WP Feedback onto this website. So now all that is left to do is to approve this layout that we have right here just by showing the client a bare bone version of the website as well as collecting the content on all of these lorem ipsums right here, giving the client a visual representation of what needs doing and more importantly, it gives them context. Now they can see that this is the top sentence uh, of the website, this is the first thing that people will see and they can understand that we probably shouldn't have five sentences on the call to action of this button. As well as now that they can see that those three sections are supposed to be in the same kind of size, they can understand that they're not gonna give you four lines for this thing and six paragraphs for this part, while this will be two words and this will be six lines again. Because there is context and visual representation, it makes it logical for the client to simply click the plus icon and tell you what needs doing. Now what we do recommend, giving them some pointers uh, if things are not clear or if you have a certain purpose around something. For example, let's put this one here and say, this section should describe the benefits of the service. Great, that's all that we need to do to give them the clarity that they need uh, to start executing on the things. So as soon as they land on there, they're going to start sprinkling content everywhere. For example, let's look at this one, where here is the image and we have an image right here. Now, as soon as the image was uploaded by the client, um, it's directly in your media folder. So again, you don't need to download uh, from your email account and uh, upload it to the website. It's just there for you to choose and use. So, so far we completed the prototype and gathered all the content without leaving the website, all with training the client with one sentence. Please click the plus icon and choose any element on the website to leave a comment. So now let's look at design and boom, quickest design ever. Again, the same process, we're leveraging the way that the client has become accustomed to throughout the project so far and they've got it down. Just click the plus icon and let you know what they think. Now this process of inline tasks along with our general tasks perfectly applies to your maintenance services as well. We have a very detailed video explaining the process of getting your care plan clients to take advantage of WP Feedback Pro. This is part of our WP Feedback Pro mastery course which you can find in the link below this video. Now that you know how to approach using our platform with your agency, it's time to become a master at it. So once again, I want to congratulate you for coming on board and please feel free to reach out to us if you have any feature suggestions, any feedback to, for us, or if we can support you on your journey in any way.